sorting data every day you deal with a lot of data it is easier to work with sorted data sorting of data means to organize the data in ascending or descending order excel allows you to sort both numeric and textual data you can sort the data according to a particular column as well as a range of data to sort data follow these types step 1 select a column or range of data to be sorted in this case we have selected the range a3 to d8 step 2 click on the sort and filter command from editing group under the home tab a drop down list appears step 3 click on the sort a to z for text and sort smallest to largest for numbers to sort the data in ascending order the selected data will be sorted according to the names in ascending order custom sorting in case more than one columns are to be sorted in such a way that the first column is in ascending order and if some data is same for more than one rows then the second column of such rows gets sorted in descending order you can do this in excel using custom sort to use custom sorting follow these steps step 1 select the range of columns to be sorted step 2 click on the sort and filter command from the editing group under home tab a drop down list appears step 3 click on the custom sort option from the drop down list the sort dialog box opens step 4 check my data has headers check box if the selected columns have a heading at the top step 5 click on the sort by box and select the column header according to which you want to sort the data in this case we have selected client name header step 6 click on the sort on box and select cell values option step 7 click on the order box and select the a to z or z to a option in this case we have selected a to z option step 8 click on the add level button at the top of the sort dialog box to add another column to sort in this case we have added amount billed column step 9 click on the okay button the data will be sorted according to the criteria defined filtering data you must have studied about filtration process which is used to separate unwanted material from a mixture excel also allows you to filter unwanted data from a set of data to apply filters follow these steps Step 1 Select the range of columns to be filtered. Step 2 Click on the sort and filter command from editing group under home tab. A drop down list appears. Step 3 Click on the filter option from the drop down list. You will notice that small arrows appear in front of all the column headers. Step 4 Click on the arrow in front of the header marks obtained in second term a drop down list appears you will notice that all the entries in the column are present in the list with small check boxes in the beginning click some of the check boxes to uncheck them step 5 click on the okay button you will notice that the rows of unchecked data are removed from the list You need not to worry as the data is not lost. The unchecked rows have just been hidden from the display. To get the data back, open the filter drop-down list again and check the unchecked entries. Excel also allows you to use custom filter. Suppose you want to know the names of the students who have scored more than 80 marks in second term. Follow these steps to get the required information. Step 1. Apply filters to the data. 
Step 2. Click on the marks obtained in second term header to open the filtered drop down list. Step 3. Place your mouse over the number filters option. A sub menu appears. Step 4. Select the greater than option. The custom auto filter dialog box appears. Step 5. Enter 80 in the criteria box and click on the OK button. Notice that only the details of the students who have obtained marks greater than 80 are displayed and the remaining rows remain hidden. Removing filters. The filters once applied can be easily removed. Click anywhere in the worksheet and repeat steps to apply filters. You will notice that the filter arrows in front of column headers disappear and the hidden rows also reappear.